Welcome back to Mission to Mars. In this video, we will computationally determine the orbit of spacecraft around Earth using a Python program. We say that a motion takes place within the sphere of influence of Earth when the force of gravity from Earth on the spacecraft exceeds the force from the Sun on the same spacecraft. This occurs when the craft is much closer to Earth than it is to the Sun. In a previous video, we explained that the motion of a spacecraft around a planet, like Earth, may be calculated using four non-dimensional expressions with the following four non-dimensional variables. 1. The position R that is the distance between the center of mass of Earth and the center of mass of a spacecraft. 2. The radial speed VR, that is the speed of the spacecraft in the radial direction. 3. The angular position theta. And 4. The angular speed omega, which is the rapidity with which the angle theta varies over time. Based on these four variables, the four non-dimensional equations to calculate the motion of a spacecraft around Earth are the following ones. The time rate of change of R tilde equals the radial speed VR tilde. The time rate of change of VR tilde equals R tilde times omega tilde squared minus gm tilde over r tilde squared. The time rate of change of theta tilde, which equals omega tilde, and the time rate of change of omega tilde equals negative 2 times vr tilde omega tilde over r tilde. This is the first system. The expressions in this system are then complemented by the so-called initial conditions. These are the magnitudes of these four non-dimensional variables at the beginning of the space flight. The non-dimensional initial conditions are determined from dimensional magnitudes as follows. From NASA's Horizons system for the flight of the International Space Station, for instance, we obtain the following initial conditions. R equals 6,782,95 etc. kilometers, VR equals 0 kilometers per second, theta equals 0 radians, and uh, omega, the angular speed, equals 1,13 etc. times 10 to the negative 3 radians per second. Also, from the horizon system, we can obtain the magnitude of GM, which is the gravitational parameter of Earth. The magnitude of this parameter is 3,986 etc. times 10 to the fifth kilometers cubed per second squared. The needed non-dimensional quantities are obtained from the following connections between dimensional and non-dimensional quantities. The dimensional time t equals the reference time, capital T, times the non-dimensional time, t tilde. R dimensional equals uh, reference R dimensional times R tilde, non-dimensional. VR equals capital R over capital T times VR tilde. Theta is the same as theta tilde. Omega equals 1 over capital T times omega tilde and gm tilde, which is the non-dimensional gravitational parameter, equals capital T squared over capital R cubed times gm dimensional. And again, the tilde denotes non-dimensional variables. GM tilde, the non-dimensional version, can be made so much smaller than the dimensional GM through a judicious selection of the reference time capital T and the reference length capital R, 
so that we can make capital T squared over capital R cubed so much smaller than 1. The reference length capital R is set equal to the initial condition for the dimensional lowercase r. In this case, therefore, capital R equals exactly 6,782,95 etc. kilometers. And as a consequence, R tilde, the non-dimensional R, equals the dimensional lowercase r over the reference capital R, which gives us 1. That is so much smaller than over 6,000 kilometers. Next, consider the reference time capital T. That is expressed as the ratio of two times. Capital T equals dimensional time over non-dimensional time T tilde. That is also equal to the ratio of delta T dimensional over delta T tilde non-dimensional. The non-dimensional time delta T tilde is uh, the time interval that is used in computations. Therefore, this quantity is uh, set to a small number by virtue of computational accuracy considerations. For instance, we can set delta T tilde equal to 0, 0,0005. The dimensional time delta T equals a fraction of the time needed to complete an orbit around Earth so that we would obtain a high-resolution solution for each orbit. According to NASA's Horizon system, it takes the International Space Station 92,9 minutes, that equals 5,574 seconds, to complete one orbit. So, let's set delta T equal to 1 5,000th of this orbital time. This gives us a delta T that equals 1,1148 seconds. As a result, the reference time, capital T, which is the ratio of these two delta T's, will equal 2,229,6 seconds, or 2,5 times smaller than the time needed to complete one orbit. Now, with capital R equal... 6,782,95 etc. kilometers and uh, capital T that equals 2,229,6 seconds, the expression for the non-dimensional gm tilde will provide a result of 6,349 etc. units and this is obtained from the ratio capital T squared over capital R cubed times gm dimensional. And this result of 6,349 is significantly smaller than the dimensional gm, which equals 3,986, etc., times 10 to the power 5 kilometers cubed per second squared. As a result of this process, the non-dimensional initial conditions become r tilde equals 1, Vr tilde equals 0, theta tilde equals 0, and omega tilde equals 2,522, etc. units. The total non-dimensional time for a complete orbit is then calculated as follows. T tilde equals the ratio of the dimensional time for one orbit over the reference time capital T. That is the ratio of 5,574 seconds over 2,229,6 seconds, which gives us 2,5 units. The non-dimensional computations are then carried out with the non-dimensional time step, delta T tilde equal 0, 0,0005 units. That will generate 5,000 data points for a complete orbit. The Orbital Motion Python program that we use in this MOOC 
computationally solves the four equations presented uh, before. The number of uh, equations and the number of parameters are entered in the number of equations and parameters function. There are four equations and three parameters. The non-dimensional magnitudes for gm, r, p, and omega are entered in the parameters function. Observe how the lines of code in the ODE underscore SYS function will reflect the four equations that we mentioned before. The program may then be run. At runtime, the program requests an initial time. We may specify that to be equal to zero. We may then specify a final time. That will be 2,5 units for one orbit. And the time step will be 0, 0,0005 units, as noted before. Of course, we can select an even smaller time step if we wish. The program generates a computational solution, and it stores it in an external file, which is named solution.txt. And this solution file may then be post-processed using Excel. Let's see how. We would open the solution.txt in Excel to visualize the solution and to obtain the orbit of the International Space Station, which is, as we would expect, very nearly circular. At an appropriate time, an onboard engine would be fired to generate an impulsive force that uh, would increase the angular speed of the space station. This is also modeled within the Python program, within the parameters function. Suppose that now we want to investigate the motion of another craft instead of the International Space Station. Then we would change the magnitude of the eccentricity E and run the program again, using exactly the same input data as before. That would be done at runtime. The program again generates a new solution.txt file. We would then open this uh, new solution.txt uh, file in Excel to visualize the new solution. And we may obtain an orbit for a space probe that is leaving Earth's gravity. Because now the initial speed of this probe would exceed the escape velocity from Earth. The orbit is no longer closed, but open. That signifies that this space probe is leaving Earth and is undertaking a journey to Mars. In the next video, we will calculate orbits around Mars. Thank you very much and goodbye. Dankeschön und auf Wiedersehen.